Hi everyone, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today's make is one of my most favorite things I've ever made, and that's because I didn't design it at all. Instead, I left it up to my lovely Instagram followers. Through a series of Instagram story polls, they chose the fabric, the pattern, and the various design details. The pattern they chose is View B of the Deer and Doe Magnolia dress. It features flutter sleeves, a surplus wrap bodice, waistband, and knee length hem. I was able to abandon the pattern instructions to create a fully enclosed bodice lining. It's so much better than all of the exposed seams you get with the pattern instructions. It's easier to do than it looks. Here's how it goes. After sewing one bodice, including the waistband in the main fabric, and then sewing a separate bodice, including the waistband in the lining fabric, you sew them right sides together around the entire neckline. Now, to enclose the arm size seams, you have to do a little bit of fabric origami. Here's how you do it. Okay, so a lot of you were asking about how I attached the sleeve um, lining and having it fully encased. So basically you start with your sleeve all sewn on to the outer part of your fabric. And then on the inside, you have your lining not sewn to anything. Um, and then you take some kind of seam, like let's use the side seam, pull the sleeve through to expose the seam allowance, fold under the seam allowance of the lining press it up against your main fabric and then wiggle your hand up in between those two, pinching the seam allowance. So now I've got the seam allowance of the sleeve. And okay, so when you're pinching the seam allowance, like so, you fold the lining back over and you reveal that you are holding this seam here. So you pin that and try and pin all the way around the um, <clears throat> the arm side or whatever you want to call it. Um, I can usually do this in two parts. You're basically pulling fabric through the shoulder seam. So um, it does get a little funky once you get up higher on the sleeve cap. But anyways, you can do it in as many parts as you want. And when you're finished, you get a beautifully encased um, seam allowance like so. You can see by doing this, the neckline, arm side, and waistband seams are fully enclosed. I also enclosed the skirt's raw edges with French seams. The insides really are as pretty as the outsides. But the real showstopper here is the fabric from Stylemaker Fabrics. This stunning rayon crepe is actually a panel. The panel has sort of an ombre effect starting with lighter blues and grays at the top, then morphing into navy in the middle and changing again to the light blues at the bottom. Each panel is about one yard long. To maintain the ombre effect in your finished dress, you have to be very thoughtful when cutting your pieces. All of the bodices and the sleeves have to be placed in the gray section. The waistband goes in the navy section and the hemline of the skirt pieces lay at the very bottom of the panel. I used three panels to make my dress, but it was tight. In fact, the only reason it fit was because I shortened the skirt by two and a half inches. As you saw, I opted for a solid rayon batiste for the lining instead of self fabric like the pattern suggests. If you keep the skirt length or decide to self line the bodice, you'll definitely need a fourth panel. The fabric is an Inside the Hem exclusive, meaning only my followers and subscribers even know it exists. How crazy is that? So you have to use the link in the description box to access the product page on Stylemaker Fabrics website. If you think this is something you will want to make for yourself, you should grab the fabric right away. There's a limited amount and Michelle has set up a coupon code for everyone. Use the code DESIGN19 to save 10% off your order of the crepe panel fabric and the Deer and Doe Magnolia dress bundle. Think of it as a kit to make a dress you know will look great as we've taken the guesswork out of combining the perfect fabric with the pattern. Let me know in the comments below if this whole concept is something you like because that will help us decide if we want to do more of them in the future. Thank you so much for watching and if you're an Instagram follower, thank you for voting and participating in designing this look for me. Until next time, bye. Don't come on. We'll go around. <laughs> okay.
Good luck with that. Thank you. I made this dress, so oh, I'm filming oh, it. Oh, cute. Very cute. I made a dress. Thank you. Good job. Thank you.